Have you ever been disappointed in an election exercise? What is election about? In a few months, all of us will be in Indianapolis. At the beginning of general conference session. And uh, as it is, I can hear many people asking many questions about the purpose of uh, general conference session. Questions such as, is it true that God appoints but nominating committee disappoints? I'm capable of doing much more than I'm now doing in my current position. Why am I not elected to a higher position? I'm not ambitious. I just want to see God's work move forward. Is there such a thing as righteous ambition or holy covetousness? My skills are not fully utilized by the not Is there such a thing as righteous ambition or holy covetousness? My skills are not fully utilized by the church. When is my turn to serve God with larger capacity? What does it take for me to be elected? Seniority, degrees, experience, connections, or looks, or all the above. My friend and I graduated from the same seminary together. Today he is the mission president, and I'm just a local church pastor. God is not being fair with me. Why? Okay, these are the questions people ask. These are the questions my students used to ask me. And, uh, and those are difficult questions, but hopefully at the end of this brief presentation, you will get an idea to the answers of those questions. Okay? Uh, in every election, we have what we call election phenomenon. Uh, the number one characteristics of uh, election phenomenon is it is a year of prophecy. As it is, you can hear people prophesizing. Prophets and sons of prophets and daughters of prophets for that matter. Who is going to be the new pharaoh? I already heard. They have prophetic insight which many of us don't have. Does the new pharaoh going to know me, Joseph? If he doesn't know me, what, what does it take for me? For him to get to know me? Or for me to get to know him? You see, people have begun to posture because of their prophecy, of the prophecy they heard. Number two phenomenon, election year is a year of theme songs. The most common theme song I heard is, I shall not be moved. commonly sung is, is my name written there? Another one, I'm pressing on the upward way. 
new heights I'm gaining every quinquennium. Another one, pass me not, O oh gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. If it is time to be humble, it is the time at the, at, of the ele election. Another one, he raised me up. Theme song, whether you sing it consciously or unconsciously in the mind, they are there. Because you think about it. The third phenomenon is the year, it is election year, it's the year of monkey business. You know monkey business? You stretch your back and I stretch. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. You vote for me, you will never be forgotten. win-win situation, why not? You win, I win. Okay? And so there is all kinds of strategic planning going on at election year 2019-2020. Who are going to be at the planning committee? Who are going to be members of the nominating committee? It's all prearranged. Unfortunately, 